name is Thomas Allen. I'm the director of academic services for Colorado Culinary Academy. If you don't know CCA, we offer a 12-week hands-on accelerated culinary training program designed really <clears throat> to get people to enter a professional kitchen. Uh, we don't attest to make chefs, we attest to make cooks, get people working in the industry to work their way up without a lot of debt. So I'm really happy that this is our fifth graduating class. Good morning, graduates. I didn't forget you. <clears throat> and we have students, all of our alumni have zero debt, which is a very important thing in the culinary industry. And I introduce Chef John Besh as our keynote speaker. Thank you, Big Tom. I can barely remember back in the day when I graduated from culinary school. I went to the CIA, Culinary Institute of America. Beautiful school. A school steeped in history and tradition. It's a school that's really very, what I recognize about you know, that school versus any other school is it is this institution, right? What I love about this school is the classroom size, the hands-on training. You know everybody by their first name, and you know everybody here by their first name. So you had this individual treatment. Just talking to uh, Diego and all the other chefs that are that are involved in all these different aspects of what the CCA is about is really really impressive. It's impressive that everybody here taking the time to invest in you, the person. What does it mean to be a chef? You know, we talked about a little bit of the round table, the the French term for chef just means chief. And so you're the chief, and you'll, you'll eventually be the chiefs, the people in charge, the leaders. The learning never stops, and it shouldn't stop, and it should inspire you to, to go as far as you want to go. I was raised just on by liberty in southeast Louisiana, not far, just about 30 minutes from New Orleans. I had no big culinary background other than those great family meals that I had as, as a child. Kind of thought, well, everybody experiences this. I just loved food. Food brought people together, and to me, food meant happy. I went to, the, I went to school thinking I knew something about food, only to learn that I knew nothing about food. It was that, hum, you know, that humiliation that I experienced, that humbling, um, that has helped me throughout my entire life in food knowing that I don't know it, knowing that I can always learn more, knowing that I now have the fundamentals to, to learn from. You have a foundation, and you have a foundation that's really set on principle, and you can build on that, and building on that, it will take you anywhere you want to go. And the facets in this incredible industry now are endless, seemingly endless. I mean, from whether you're... Uh, like I, I just met one of your recent graduates who's now has a culinary, he has a little catering company. So he orchestrates in-home parties for people all around the Denver area. And now he's branching out to other areas. And so it's great to see that you have so many different directions to go in. My direction was one that I felt kind of called to. I became a chef. I became a cook. I wasn't a chef. And... I knew I needed to learn, so I traveled. I learned from, I, I set my sights on people that I wanted to learn from, people that I wanted to emulate, and I encourage you to do that. Whatever facet of the business this is, this is make a goal. Find three mentors. Learn from them. Learn from people that you, wanna, that you truly want to emulate, that you want to be like. My journey led me to Europe and later led me around the world. I've gotten to cook for four presidents and heads of states from all over the world. There's this poor cook coming from Slidell, Louisiana. We've built up 12 restaurants now and four cookbooks and now a foundation. We've had a chance to be in New Orleans at a very pivotal time and that has allowed food to truly resurrect a city that
that was struck by such disaster. So using food is that common thread that all of us have in common in this room, all of us have in common on this entire earth, is powerful stuff. And if you use it, you can, you can do some incredible good with it. And I'm just amazed at where it's taken me. And what's awesome is where, you know, where will it take you? And it's up to you. It's up to you to create your own roadmap. Decide where you want to go. Because it's, it's a beautiful world out there. And using food, you can do so many things with it. And too often, you know, back when, I, when we started cooking, chef, it wasn't very fashionable to become a chef. I remember leaving the Marines and telling my friends that I'm going to become a cook. And I wanted to be a chef one day. And they were like, what? You can't make a living doing that. Now they work for me. <laughs> a couple of them anyway. <laughs> they work with me. And I've managed over the years to those core group of people, the people that have helped build me up are now my partners in the business. And we've created something beautiful from that. But understand that the, what you're called to do, what we're all called to do as cooks, is really almost spiritual because you're, you're giving of yourself to another person. You're, and people are trusting us to feed them. And so having this foundation of professionalism is so important. You know about this much. You're going to know about that much very shortly because you now have that great foundation. So let it take you to great places. Create your own roadmap. Find your mentors who you want to emulate and write your own book because it's a beautiful life that we can all share through food. And I want to thank you so much for your generosity in helping, helping us with the um, foundation. Our um, scholarship means so much to me in particular because um, I come from an area where we're known for great food. We're known for a particular style of food. And yet, I don't believe we're going to hang on to that unless we all participate in that culture. And I'm talking about all of us within the New Orleans area. And so what we found were that people were, there was a certain group of New Orleanians from inner city New Orleans that would never achieve the, the status of being executive chef because of the stumbling block of education. And now today, Lee, you've got that education. And so you can take it as far as you want it. And I applaud you for sticking it out. You weren't, you weren't terribly excited about, about Denver. The first question you asked me was, was it, is it cold there? I knew we had problems. <laughs> and for a lot of us New Orleanians, we never see ourselves anywhere else. We're geographically isolated to the point that we think, like, we're our own little world. And in some ways, we are. And, that's what, that, and that makes New Orleans special. And so I, I, I thank you for your generosity in, in partnering with us so that together we can change lives by offering an opportunity for people that deserve it, the people have the smarts and tenacity to, to create their own tomorrow. And so all of you, thank you so much for your generosity and your hospitality, not only to myself, but also to, uh, to Leon. It's, it's tremendous to see the camaraderie that's taken shape here, and it's a blessing. Thank you very much. All right, so I would like to introduce our academic director and executive chef, Chef Andy Floyd, who will introduce the students to all of you. Um, thanks to all of you for showing up here today and, and supporting these fine groups of new alumni, graduates, culinarians from the Colorado Culinary Academy. Um, thank you, Yvonne, for everything you've done for us and for maintaining the school and for making this dream a reality for me and for all of you guys. Thank you to Phil, uh, her husband over there, uh, for providing support, uh, I know, both financially and emotionally. Um, uh, you know, thank you to all my staff, Chef Bruce, uh, and everybody else that makes this possible, Cherie, uh, Glenn, wherever he is, Paul, 
Raymond for his uh, support uh, throughout the years too, really uh, inspirational to all of us. But really this, this day is about you guys uh, and uh, your dreams and aspirations and places that you're gonna go. Uh, and I can honestly say that uh, of all the groups I've taught uh, in this school, uh, you're the ones that have really hit the market best for me as far as what you're gonna do with your lives. You guys are all motivated, you're uh, serious, uh, you have desires to uh, pursue this career and make great things out of yourselves, and I'm really proud of the effort that you've um, done all the way up to this point. I think that uh, each one of you brings unique qualities, uh, that's for sure, uh, and, uh, and you've gelled well together as a group. You know, you, you, you're going you're gonna to do things, and that to me is probably what is most exciting because I only have you for three months. Uh, it's a short relationship. It's one that's intense. Uh, it's one that uh, I commit to every single day uh, that you guys commit to. It's a relationship that we build together. Uh, and you start off with little baby steps and then we start to build on that. And you know, it's knife skills, it's knife skills. And then we start doing stocks and then it's sauces and then it's soups and pastry, uh, you know, pat brise and pat sucre and all these different things. And you're building these foundational blocks that are gonna, and these techniques that are gonna serve you in your bag of tricks for your whole life. You're also entering into a totally different world than what you're experiencing right now uh, in school. So be prepared for, some of you have already been exposed to it. I know Leon has, I know Joey has. Uh, I know that Paul and uh, Ian have seen it on the front side and so has Andre. Uh, and Mike's been involved in it as well. So you've all had some experience, uh, but now you're gonna go in it with refreshed eyes, uh, with some knowledge uh, to build on. Uh, Continue to build on that knowledge is absolutely key. Uh, just always be focusing on learning. Uh, you're going to enter into a group, uh, a small group of people uh, that I consider to be food hedonists, gastronauts, uh, people that are completely obsessed with food, uh, that think about it all the time, uh, that are looking for new ways to uh, provide combinations. Uh, taste everything. Uh, I know Ian has that. There's really virtually nothing he won't put in his mouth. Uh, you know, take advantage, advantage of every aspect you have coming to you. Find, uh, I agree absolutely wholeheartedly with uh, Chef John Besh that you should be looking for mentors, people that are going to inspire you, people that are going to take you under their wing and that are going to teach you their tricks. And then, you know, stay, spend some time with that that person in that restaurant. Don't be shifting around all over the place because you're really not gonna get the full value of that instruction if you're just going from one spot to the next. Spend some time, get to know the place, get to know all the people that are, all the components in that restaurant. Go outside of your comfort circle, you know, your, your, your comfort level. You know, if you see somebody just like Leon, the story that you were telling about when you were a dishwasher and your first thing and then you were went into that station and you like took the opportunity and seized it and said, I'm gonna learn more. Always be curious, always be excited, always be adventurous, and always be looking for the, beyond the scope of what your normal duties are. And then you can't help but grow. You know, learn from books, learn from people. Every single person out there is a source of information that you're gonna be coming in contact with. To the dishwasher, to the bartender, to the sommelier. I used to come in on my days off uh, to learn about wine in the first restaurant that I went to because there's all these distributors that come in and will uh, do tastings on Bordeaux or Burgundy or whatever. And that's how I got into wine in the first place. I started going to these things on my days off and the waiters would look at me like, what the hell are you doing here, man? You're a line cook. Get back in the kitchen. I was like, no, I want to learn this stuff. Those, there's all these free opportunities for you to pick up more information uh, and, and, and become better at this craft and to be able to also convey the information that you learn to someone else. It's important to be able to learn something, but it's also almost even more important to be able to teach other people about it, because you'll actually make your whole organization bigger and better uh, and inspire other people. So I urge you, take that information, learn it, share it with other people too. It's just as important. You're gonna work really hard. Uh, in places, you're going to have uh, hours that are not the most uh, friendly for all of your friends. Uh, you'll be working on holidays. Uh, you'll be working at night. Um, you know, you'll be working when nobody, when everybody else is playing, and they'll be calling you up like, oh, "I'm at the beach," and you're like, "Yeah, great. I'm really in the weeds right now. It's wonderful." Uh, you're going to be, you know, getting all these 
sacrifices that you're going to be making in order to be in this uh, craft. You know, continue to sacrifice. Think about the sacrifice that you're going to make that's going to make you a better cook. Stage somewhere. You know, Ian's going to be staging for a month. You know, I, I think for me, staging, when I went to Europe, and I know from talking to John Besh, uh, Chef Besh, that uh, it was pivotal, a changing moment in your life where people are willing to exchange knowledge for your labor. You know, take advantage of that. There's so many opportunities out there. You are absolutely at the best point in history for new graduates. There's such a demand for your labor and skills. So seek out the top best places. Work on them, work hard, spend extra time. The world is your oyster. Slurp it and savor it. But first, learn how to shuck it. I want to bring up Chef Bruce to say a few words. My uh, cohort, my partner in crime. Anyone that knows me and anyone that works with me knows that I'm on record as always saying, that term of students was great. That's my favorite term of students. I love them all. And so rest assured, I'm very sincere when I say, you're now my favorite students. Sorry, alum. So, but <laughs> no, truth is I love you all. So, but you know, the, truth be told, every, every class has its own flavor. There's something about every class that is my favorite. Some element that really sets you guys apart. And what really set you guys apart in particular is that desire to learn. You guys, all of you are sponges. Keep being that sponge. Put everything in your mouth. Um, I do the same thing, Ian. Well, my wife and I go to the, the flower store every spring. She's looking at, the, she's looking at all the little uh, tags and the flowers and the names and the colors. I'll pick, a, I'll pick a leaf and put it in my mouth. It's like, hmm, is that what daffodil tastes like? You know? Yes, we've had the conversation. That's nightshade. Don't eat that. So, <laughs> speak a little careful, but, uh, you know, so we've been talking a lot about uh, today about growth, growth through education, and that's really your defining uh, flavor from this group. I love that you've just been so, you've been so fun to teach because you've been so desirous to learn. Uh, you've been such good students, you've made me a better instructor. I feel like something has been built here, and... You know, my, my short message to you is keep that up. Never stop absorbing. Never stop questing. Never stop Google spelunking. So I wish you all well. You know, we'll keep in touch, obviously. And, uh, you know, part of the family. We're glad to have you. Thanks again. I would like to present Raymond Legal, our trustee, who will present the diplomas. Okay, Joseph Arginio. Congratulations. Michael Beam. Congratulations. Andre Chavusti. You are now an official graduate. Ian Derek Hunter. It is now official. Paul Chang. Savior, it's all yours. Leon Thomas. You worked for it, you earned it, it's all yours now. And Yvette Wilson. The last but not least, congratulations. All yours. And uh, Chef John Besh. Honorary recipient. Congratulations. Thanks again. Had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please welcome our Director of Admissions, Paul C. Kelly, who will present our alumni. Yes, it's Paul C. Kelly. Correct. So this is the best part for me for graduation. I get to A, invite all the alumni in the room to come up and join me on stage. Come on, guys. Finally, our closing remarks will be given to you by our president, Yvonne Haig. <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to this. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, this is always the hardest part for me, but also the best part. Um, there are a lot of people here, and that's really good because they're very important people. They're VIPs. And all these people have had a hand in one form or another in making dreams come true. So I just wanted to say thank you to all you guys out there for making those dreams come true. And it's uh, CCA's dream to provide an opportunity for an incredible, unique education. And you graduates, all of you, seize that opportunity to fulfill your dreams. And this is only one stop on a crazy adventure you're about to have. So 12 weeks ago, you walked through our doors and you were strangers. We didn't know each other. And look what happened. You have accomplished so much. And you're part of a team now. You've made new friends. You've experienced new tastes. You've gone to new places. And most importantly, you have been firmly entrenched in our family. And you can never leave. So like all the graduates that came before you, you guys have each of you have a great story that you're going to be telling. And you've just finished one chapter of that story. And today, you get to start a new chapter. And that book is filled with lots of blank pages. And only you can decide what's written on those pages. So go out there. Don't be afraid to live your dream. Don't be afraid to fill those pages with opportunities, adventures, and experiences and make it the best story anyone could ever tell because we're watching you. Thank you all for coming.